Hello, hello, Tatum here, welcome back. Today's workout is a definite shoulder focus with some hits, so let's get to it. All right, we're gonna get started here today with shoulders, it's gonna be pretty intense. I added some abs and hit work in between there just because it's very difficult to keep up on shoulders the entire time. So um, we're gonna work on that. I have five eighths and 15s here with me today. You might throw some tens in there as well. Uh, it's gonna be a good one. So let's go ahead and warm up. We gotta get those shoulders ready to go, we'll kind of wake them up. So let's go ahead and shrug it out. Do some rolls here, up and around. Really big exaggerated movements. Up towards the shoulders, or up to the ears and back around, good. <sighs> nice work. All right, we'll go a few more here, and then we'll reverse it. Good, let's do 10 in reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Oh, that feels good. All right, let's do some little circles here. One, Two, well, actually, we'll just go 10 seconds so you don't have to hear me count the whole time, possibly here, if I can keep track. So little circles forward, moving into those shoulders again, and then reverse it, little circles. Three, two, and one. Now we'll go medium, up and around, just medium. Good. Please notice my quote today. It says, make fitness your favorite habit. <laughs> Takes time. Takes practice, but I hope you get there. Let's reverse it, medium circles. Not every habit did we love right at first, right? Most good habits take some time. Let's go ahead, up and around. But make a little time for strength every day, and then eventually you want more and more and more. Just kind of like if you're a cardio person, let's reverse it. Maybe at first you were like, yeah, I really don't like running, really don't like cycling. Ah, I don't even like to do it, but you start 10 minutes a day, build up to 15, 20, and then you start to get those endorphins going, you're feeling good, and you just want more of it. Same with strength training, okay? Just give it a shot, stay with it, a little bit at a time. Here we go, from here up, we're gonna do a jumping jack, but not all the way down, there we go. Two, we'll do 10, three, no, I'm sorry, 24, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ooh, good work. All right, let's come down to the ground here. I'm gonna have you do a plank, high plank here, and then just push back into those shoulders into downward dog. Good. Back to plank position, push back again. Good. Plank. Push back. You may have to walk your feet in a little bit to get that push, that deep push into the shoulders there. Back to plank. Push back. Hold. Breathe. Good, one more. We'll hold a little longer. Plank. Push back. And hold. Good. From the plank position again, I want you to circle over those wrists and hands. Just little tiny movements, okay? Let's do 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, let's go the opposite direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Oh, goodness, goodness. It's warm in here today. Arms out wide, let's go scorpion. Foot behind, just rolling into that shoulder. We're not gonna stay here very long as my timer is telling me to get moving, get ready very shortly. Here we go, side to side. This feels good. Open up. I didn't bring your heart rate up too much, but we are gonna have a couple hits in here where we do experience that. I like to get the heart rate up every once in a while, well, almost daily. And just doing shoulders doesn't always cut it. 
Depends on what you're doing though with the shoulders. So we're gonna add it in. All right, let's come up to the top here. Um, Ford, look at that, Ford's just going. <laughs> Let me fix that. It's gonna slap me in the face today. I don't know where, what is going on here. Oh my goodness, let's tuck it in. Okay, all right, let's get started here. So I have again, five, eights, and 15s. Our first exercise is gonna be here with an isometric lateral arm hold, and we're gonna move one side. Then we're gonna take core to that same right side. Then we're gonna move left arm, and then core to the left, okay? So our core is gonna be a knee strike. I'm gonna use some weight, but you don't have to, to a uh, diagonal chop over that leg, okay? All right, I am a mess today, okay? It's, it's one of those days. All right, we have to get started. My timer is ticking. Here we go. Arms out, right side lifting, left side holding, right up to shoulder height. Good control. Less is more here, okay? Now, if you feel that your arm that's lifting can do more, but there's no way you can hold heavier weight out here, go ahead and pick up that um, heavier weight for the lift part and a smaller weight for the isometric. It's okay. Three, two, and one, good. Here we go. Knee strike down and then a diagonal chop, okay? Strike, chop, strike, chop. You got it. With or without weight, it's okay. Just interlace your fingers and go for it by just using your arms, okay? Good. Strike, chop, strike, chop. Three, two, and one. Good work. Here we go, no rest. Left arm works, right arm holds. Oh boy, it's gonna get difficult real quick. We're gonna do about three rounds here today, so just hold on to it. If we need to, we can hold our arm out here without any weight as well, which I think you're gonna see me do today. <laughs> oh, it's not gonna be my day. It's not gonna be my day. Eight seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we need to get that uh, core going on the other side. So left knee strike, left diagonal chop. Strike, chop. Strike, chop, strike, chop. Good. You got it. Make sure you're exhaling each time you lift that knee and chop down. Three, two, and one. Good work. All right, here we go. <laughs> Lifting that right side, all right? Right out here, left arm holds. Do your best. It's 30 seconds. Feels like a really long time with this one. Ooh, we're halfway, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the weight down, hold my arm here as I work. It's just too much today for me. That's okay. <laughs> Five seconds. Ooh, we got it, three. Two and one, my goodness. I hope I make it through with you. If not, I'll just coach you from here. No, just kidding. I'll make it. Knee strike, chop. Strike, chop. Good, you got it. If you want, you don't even have to do that isometric hold that we're doing. You could always just do a single arm lateral arm raise, all right? You're struggling today as well. Chop, strike, chop, good, time. Here we go, left arm works, right arm holds. I'm gonna to try to get a few out before I put that weight down and just hold my arm there. Good work, sweat is coming already. I'm gonna to try to get halfway here and then drop the weight and keep going. Oh, that's halfway everyone, here we go. I'm gonna still hold it out there, it'd still work. That's it, good control both directions. Start to one swing when you get tired. I wanna lean and swing into it, try not to do that. Three, two, and one, here we go. Core, left side, strike, diagonal chop. Strike, chop, 
strike, chop. Brace your core, okay? You gotta think about that. I know, I like to talk about zoning out. This is not a time to zone out. I want you to brace all the way through these movements. If you're too tired or sore today, then let's go ahead, remove the weight, and just work here, okay? Focusing on bracing. Three, two, and one. Good, here we go. Last round. Let's see how much I can do here. Lifting with the right arm, holding out with the left. Oh. <laughs> I don't think it's been that long since I've really worked. That's halfway. There we go, just keep working for me. Just have to laugh at yourself, right? I'm pretty mentally strong when it comes to this, but sometimes my body just says, forget you. Forget you, not today. Three, two, and one. All right, here we go. Abs right, knee strike, cross. Strike, cross, good. Here we go. Exhale forcefully with that strike and chop. Helps you to brace that core. Contract the abs. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Good job. All right, here we go. Let's see how many we can get. At least halfway, holding the weight. We got it. It's like a sauna here today in Indiana. I don't know what it's like. We're here. That's halfway. I'm just gonna remove that weight. Keep working this left arm up and down. Notice my thumbs are up today. Join me here. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, let's get that left side of the body. We have a strike and we have a cross. Here we go. Chop. Strike to chop. Bracing the whole time. Blowing that air out. Good. Contracting each time. Bracing. Three, two, and one. All right, we have a minute. Thank goodness. <laughs> Let's stretch it out. Bring the arm across, we'll get you set up for your second. Or actually, we have a hit coming up. Yeah, I did add in hit today. All right, just keep the heart rate high. Get a little something about that out of this workout today. All right, gonna bring that heart rate up a bit. We have two exercises we're gonna move through. 30 seconds of one, 15 seconds of the other, all right? Good, go ahead and keep stretching. Watch me here. We're gonna do a squat, kick, squat, kick, okay? I know it's not a leg day, but we're gonna work a little abs there too, and the legs are gonna help bump up the heart rate. Then we're down, we're gonna do this little plyo push-up off, off the floor. It's not a full push-up necessarily, unless you're there. But you're gonna come down to a really deep squat and you're just gonna come to the floor. Some of us will just come right there and push, right? Just a little push off those shoulders or you can come down a little further depending on where you are. That's 15 seconds, okay? Here we go. Squat, kick, squat, kick. Good. Fifteen seconds. Bring that foot up. Both hands or one hand out. Whatever you feel like doing today, just keep moving. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Crouch down and push. Okay. A little push off the floor. Good. It's just fifteen seconds. It's a tough one. Three, two. And one, good. Three rounds, round two. Kick, squat, kick. Good. Good job. We'll get through this today, promise you. <laughs> Maybe you're feeling a little better than I am. 10 seconds. I tell you, we had those days, good days, and not so good days. <laughs> Three, two, one, here we go. Squat down, push, 
but we're here, we're doing it. We're just gonna modify and we're gonna get through it. Good job, last one. Here we go, squat, kick, squat, kick. We got it. There's three rounds. Fifteen seconds. If you need to rest, take it and get back to it when you're ready. Seven seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, good work. Down fifteen seconds. A little plyo push up. You got it. If this is tough, too tough to be down here in this position, go to the wall. All right, three. Two and one. You could go to the wall and do a little push off their shoulders as well, okay? Kind of like a push up there. All right, nice work. Just 36 seconds. Oh, I did not bring water up. I hope you have water there. All right, we're going in to a diagonal rear raise here to the side. Diagonal raise, okay? Um, I'm gonna try eight. A pretty tough one. I want you to make sure that you keep that same bend in the arm that you're, we're not extending out or straight. It's, it's the same bend and just coming up at a diagonal, okay? Right there. All right, we're gonna do a single, and we're gonna do a single, and we're gonna try double, okay? Three, two, and one. Here we go. And then we're gonna do a little core as well with the legs, a little cardio core, okay, after this. That'll be our rest off of our shoulders again, all right? Good. Keep that same bend. It's, it's a hard one to get. You might have to look in the mirror, all right? And then back with both. That's it. Just up and out to the side, okay? We're halfway. Keep working, all right? Left, double. Good, you got it. Right. Left, double. You want to come out kind of wide. A lot of times I get just this movement in here like this. I really want you to raise up and out, okay? Up and out. Three, two, and one. Good work. There you go. No rest. We're going to step to the side here and fly up off, okay? And I'm even gonna go and kind of twist and look over that side, okay? As I kick out, so I can feel it right here in my core as I twist. You can go really low and out, okay? Twist. If that twist bothers you, just stay here, all right? Good job. We're gonna switch sides to the left and twist and kick, all right? Now looking over that way. And I'm going deep, but you don't have to. All right. Good work. Eight seconds here. We're back to those diagonal shoulder raises. Three, two, and one. Good. Here we go. Right arm up and out, keeping that same bend. Just rotate at a diagonal and then double. Good. Right, left, double. Good work. Right, left, everywhere. Double. Right, left, double. We're halfway, you're doing great. All right, check yourself out on your screen in a mirror, make sure you're getting that diagonal raise, okay? Wide, like there's a bend, it's wide up and back, okay? From the hip and up, okay? Good, three, two, and one, very good. Here we go, do that push off to the right and out, good, right? I'm gonna touch and get deep and twist. 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 Good. 
You got it. Three, two, one. Let's switch sides, left side. And then push off. <laughs> I kind of cheated there. <laughs> oh, we got it. Just keep doing your best today. That's all I can ask. I hope that's all you ask of me. Here we go. Push. Lift. Twist. Three, two, one. Good. Last round. Here we go. Diagonal raise. I have another diagonal for you later. You'll see. Both together. Okay. There's too much to do them together. Focus on a single and single alternating, okay? Get that form. Up and back, but at an angle. You got it. We're halfway. And our last one. Good job. I know it's not leg day. Adding a little bit of core in there with the large muscles, just to help bump up that hurry. Get a little sweat going. Burn a few more calories. That way, if you don't have time to go out and get a little extra cardio in today, you have a little something, right? Here we go. Push, I'm going right side. Down, lift, and rotate. A little plyo push up, push off there. Good work. Again, remember, you don't have to go that far. You can just go here and push, okay? Up to you. Other side. Here we go. Push. You'll notice I'm not as coordinated on this side. <laughs> all right, twist the lift. We all have one side, right? Lots less dominant. Good. You got it. Modify that lunge and that push so that it's doable today. Three, two, one. Good work. All right, we have a little bit of rest here. Not sure what happened. Great. It's on cool down. <laughs> I was sure this was gonna go smooth. I must have scrolled through and clicked way down on the screen. <sighs> the last time you turned it. Hi. We got a little rest here. Go ahead and towel off. We have another hit coming up with those squat kicks and little plyo push off from the floor, okay? And remember, you can do a little plyo off the wall, catching into those shoulders if you want as well, okay? So you would just find an angle that works and just push and catch real quick. The shoulders will feel that, your chest too, but shoulders, same here. All right, we have 30 seconds. Again, it's gonna be a squat kick. We're gonna do three rounds. It's our last hit today, so hang in there. I'm with you. We're together on this. We'll get through it. And then we're gonna move into a um, pretty intense um, finisher on the shoulders with some more leg just to make sure we got it all, okay? All right, here we go. In eight seconds, I want you to squat kick, all right? Here we go, three, two, and one. We're gonna squat, kick, squat, kick, okay? I'm reaching for my toes. I have a slight bent knee. I have really tight hamstrings. Uh, you can do to your shins if you want. You can even go a little bit lower here, just working on balance and kicking up, okay? Here we go. 12 more seconds here. And we have those plyos off the ground there. Little push-offs or from the wall. Three, two, 
One, good, here we go. Get low. Down, push. Down, push. Down, push. Good. Three, two, one. Good. Back to the squat kicks. Whew. <laughs> and tense. You thought this was just stressful. It's a lot more. It's gonna be good. Keep working with me. We're getting close to the finish line. 13 seconds here. Take a breather if you need it. Feeling it today. Three, two, and one. We're down. Here we go. Push off. Just catch yourself. You can catch yourself high. You can try to get lower. All right, just depends on where you are today. And push. Woo, come on. Three, two, and one. Shake out those legs. Here we go, squat kick. Good. Fifteen more seconds. Ten. Five. Three, two, and one. Good work. And we're down. Whew. Kind of zoned out there, sorry. I was focusing on my breathing and just making it through that time. Three, two, and one, good. Whew. Let's rest. All right. Our last one should be coming up here, okay? Last circuit on shoulders. We are gonna add a leg in there, all right? I love thrusters, I love the squat to press. Today we're gonna add a little twist into it, okay? So, the rotational twist with the squat. You don't have to do the squat. If your legs are dead because you did legs yesterday, you can go ahead and twist here and press with your dumbbells. Make sure this hand is right over your shoulder that we're not out here, okay? We're not punching. We're pressing overhead. If you want to join me, I'm gonna try a squat with a press, okay? Here we go. Three, two, and one. All right, we have a full minute here because it's not a quick movement. I want you to get as many in as you can. And again, if the squat is too much on your legs today, stay here, rotate, twist. You've gotta brace that core. A lot of core action here, pressing that weight right over your shoulders. Good, good work, we got it. We're halfway. Good, bring that weight right up. Use those legs to help your shoulders. Your shoulders are tired, we've done a lot on them already, okay? So let the legs assist you in pressing overhead. Unless you have lighter weights there, you don't have access to what can is something that's more challenging, then go ahead and stop and then twist and press, okay? All right, here we go. Next one is gonna be a, uh, oh my goodness, what is it? Neat. Oh yeah, here, a little bit of core. A little bit of core, okay? So I want you to pull this knee in, open up, and then come back down. Open up together, all right? A little bit of core. But we're still, have these arms held up, all right, we're still opening up, using our upper body a bit here. We're gonna go 30 seconds on each side. Good, we're gonna switch sides. Left leg comes up as we open. Open, pull up and twist. Right through that core, good work. We got it. Lift and twist, get as far as you can. Follow that gaze or follow those fingers. Three, two, and one. All right, nice work. Here we go, we're gonna squat to press overhead with that rotational twist. Take the squat out if you need to today, all right? Here we go. And press and turn, good. Squat, press and turn, weight goes right over, it locks out right over that shoulder, okay? It's not a punch. I would be using a lot lighter weight if I wanted to punch today. <sighs> Protect these shoulders, good. 
and press. We're halfway already. All right, keep moving. If you need to start at a, if you can start at a heavier weight and drop that weight down during this minute, go ahead and do that. Try to push. Use your legs to explode up here and get that weight up over that shoulder. You've got to brace through the twist. Three, two, and one. Nice work. All right, here we go. We're gonna lift that knee and open up with a twist. Good. Good work. Exhale as you open and lift. Right there. Breathe out. Good, switch sides. Woo, feel it, feel it everywhere. There we go. Notice whether you can open up on one side more, whether you have better balance, coordination, stability. Five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Nice work. Oh, here you go, you got it. Here we go. We gotta call on those legs here, okay? If you're just pressing overhead, you might have to lower it a little bit, the weight to get through this. Otherwise, bring that squat into the picture and really press up using the power of those legs, okay? Shoulders are still working. They're just getting some assistance right now here at the end of this hard workout on the shoulders. Good, press. Nice work. We're halfway. You got it. Oh, feeling it. Keep moving. Just pace yourself, okay? Don't forget the legs are there to help. Eight seconds. Five, three, two, and one. Good work there. All right, here we go. Open up, lift. Open up and lift that knee. Blow that air out. Good. Finishing strong here. Is it tough? Yes. Is it challenging? Yes. Will it make us better? Yes. It's all good. You're gonna get through this, okay? We did three rounds. If three rounds is too much, three sets today, you can always opt out at two if that's your max, if that's where you are. We're halfway. Here we go, other side. Same thing. Lift and twist. You got it. So close. Oh. Feeling this today. Four, three, two, and one. All right, good job, that is it, woo! Thank goodness, thought about giving us four sets there at the end. Yeah, we're good, we're good. Let's bring that left arm across the body, shoulders down, congrats on finishing that very intensive uh, shoulder and ab workout. All right. Bit of leg for a good sweat, heart rate, huh? Good. Right arm across the body, shoulders down. Oh, relax, it's over. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. Thank you for being my support today. Ah, oh, even coaches and trainers need need support and motivation and inspiration, right? So comment. My inspiration is having you leave a comment. Let me know that you did this workout, what you thought, what you'd like to see. Uh, we like to keep open communication. We're on Facebook as well. If you'd like, let's reach behind and pull back. If you'd like to join us on there, TXT Online Fitness, all right? We have some other things going on. We're gonna be focusing on food um, in September. We might do some Zoom cooking together too. So I'm looking forward to that. It's always a good one. It's an eye opener. Uh, so we'll see. Ah, oh, just reach back there, good. Nice work. Oh, let's go ahead. Uh, you know what? 
because we did so much shoulder too, let's just go ahead and bring that right ear down to that right shoulder and feel the stretch through our neck here too. That feels good. Let's go to the other side. Left hand on left ear, left ear to left shoulder. Breathe. Good. Let's come down. We're gonna thread that needle and then lay down into it here. Push into that shoulder a little bit and just reach through. Bring that head down. You can even bring this right um, arm and palm with your left palm and push into the ground and hold and breathe. Let's bring that right arm up overhead now. Stay there. Reach. Good, and before we go to the other side, I just want you to reach out in front here and pull back a little out of the shoulders. Let's bring that right arm up, reach it through. Oh, I'll turn around here so you can see my hands. Lay down here, bring that left hand on top of the right, push into the floor. Bring that left arm way over top, reach, twist, and breathe. Good, let's come out front again here and just sit back and pull out of those shoulders. Maybe even go wide with it out. Forehead to ground if you want. Bring those arms back, sit back into child's pose. All right, that's it today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this workout. If you did, please subscribe, ring our bell, leave us a comment, and visit us again. We are posting daily. You have a great day. Bye-bye.